Michael Milley responds, sitting here trying to figure out how I fit into this conversation, but I'll make it work. I guess I'm Israeli in my, uh, in my heart, um, so I'll tell you a little bit about fashion groups, and I'll tell you a little bit about what we do. And I think it's, um, I think I'm a palate cleanser. You know, you've heard a lot about investment, and then you have a little bit about palate cleanse. So what, what else? What else can we? Can we talk about that's exciting? And uh, so a little bit about the fashion snoops. Um, my husband and I also, my husband is really sitting right here in the front row. We started a company called Fashion Snoops 14 years ago. 14 years ago, when you would think everyone had an internet and a computer at their desk because that you were a designer, that wasn't the case. So I was designing at that day, really doing a lot of traveling myself, going to all these different countries, gathering trend information bringing it back and serving it to designers as what they need to know next. The internet was hap happening. Uh, Itad was actually part of us in Israeli startup focusing on the internet. And our minds came together, and that's where Fashion Soaps was born. The concept behind the company is that we bring trend information to fashion professionals around the globe. We serve them what they need to know next. And uh, our big team here in New York, as well as worldwide, their only job is to gather what's next in the world of fashion. Um, so I'm gonna, a little bit about the first question people ask me is how do we do it? How in the world do you know what's next? And people think we sit around and put the wall and we kind of predict information. It's, it is not that. Uh, and you know, it was a surprise to me. I, who came into this world of fashion thinking it's all mysterious and we kind of uh, do mysterious things. It's actually much more structured than that. We, it is a very systematic approach, which I'll get to at the end. Uh, this systematic approach is actually killing a lot of innovation and creativity that we're hoping to bring back. Uh, because the retailers are, are following these very specific lines of how we find information and trends. So as you can see some examples on the left, we literally look everywhere. So we scope the world in regards to whether it's a great event, whether it's a runway, whether it's what's happening at retail, whether it's uh, what's happening on the street, and then find patterns and similar things happening and call them next trends. Uh, then, of course, we understand what the market needs because we work with many retailers around the globe. And at the end of all of that, there is market agreement. And that is part of the piece that I'll want to talk a lot about uh, in a world of fashion. In the past, it was other cultures and other markets that looked at fashion to get influence for their world. What's happening now, because our fashion world has been very static, and for many of you, I don't know if you're noticing the same thing, but if you're going to stores, most of the things are looking very the same. There is no wow factor. That's why I love Israel. I'll talk a little bit about why I love Israel design. It's because they do have a different angle. They do bring a different approach to design. They have less fear than we do in our creative process. Um, so what we're doing now, which is interesting and why I thought, you know, surprise to me when I got the call on to speak here because it's, yeah, we work with Israeli designers and we have an Israeli heart being in the company. Um, why, are you, why now? And the, the interesting part is that we're internally speaking a lot about innovation and creativity and bringing that back into the world. So it's interesting that other people are having a conversation about broadening, broadening that topic. And I agree fully with Jeff about innovation and, and, and being behind that. Uh, so in our fashion world, what we're now doing is stepping back and looking very much at culture. We're looking at other elements that influence in order to give designers and professional and world a little bit more of an inspirational view. So we're starting to look at different cultural events and we're starting to look at uh, whether it's an art exhibit or whether it's just an interesting movement that's happening and then connecting the dot. And the dot. So I think this is an interesting piece to look at because anything could be inspirational and influential. Uh, even when you're looking at something like women in power, which is an interesting conversation across the board right now for Israeli women and any women in the world. And in all the way through, you'll suddenly see a runway show that's all focused on women and power and big faces of women on their runway. So it's an interesting way to look at how, pe how people are connecting the dots from culture. The reason why we're stepping back, as I said, to culture, and uh, we work with many retailers domestically and internationally, and it's been a very stagmatic, you know, similar path 
we look at runway, we see what's next, we do the same thing. A lot of designers are looking for that new angle, new perspective, and I think that's where uh, a while back we looked at the conversation of really looking at Israeli designs and, and designers and bringing them into our world, bringing them into our marketplace. Yes, our American or you know big market conversations know more about structure and what sells in retail, but they don't have that interesting angle, that interesting perspective that Israeli design can bring. And even with just an, an interesting kind of perspective, when we looked at redefining who we are uh, for fashion scripts, uh, we hired an Israeli company, a really talented um, team in Israel called Navy Design, because we thought they would bring a perspective that somebody else wouldn't see. So I think a lot of the design influence in Israeli design, and Omili Gokhan is speaking a little after me, she definitely brings that angle, that different cut. <coughs> Uh, so much encouraged to bring that element in here. And just to kind of slice the mood a little bit, uh, a little video of what we do to compilate or put together different perspectives uh, of influence and how we translate, just an example of our work. Thank you so much. 